But this ayat now I'm going to read is also wisdom ayat, the ayat of wisdom. Just now I'm going to read is Surah Al-Isra 17 and 23 and 24. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّهِ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ عِسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبَرَاءَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقَلْ فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْ وَلَا تَنْهَرْهُمَا وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا I read further next ayah Surah Al-Isra 17 and Ayah 24 وَاقْفِذْ لَهُمَا جَنَاحَ الذُّلِّ من الرحمة وقر رب الرحمة كما ربياني صغيرة. And your Lord has accomplished that do not serve anyone except Him and be good with your parents. And when it, when any one of them attain an old age in your presence, say do not say to both of them a word of contempt. That is dishonor. And do not repel both of them and say an honorable saying to both of them. Now in this ayah is a relationship between the parents and the children. This is also hikmah, the wisdom. It says first that you do not worship except him that we have already, uh, the first ayah read, it's a similar ayah that we will not worship or serve Allah except Allah will not serve anyone. Now the further point is we will validate asana that be good with your parents. Very, very important ayah. Be good with your parents. A wise person will understand and believe and practice. Intelligent person will understand, yes, we should believe. We should have good relation with your parents. And it says, very important, when any of them attain old age in your presence, in your lifetime, they become old. Say, do not say to both of them a word of contempt. That means dishonor. And do not repel both of them. Say an honorable saying both to both of them. You know, in this I you will, in the Arabic language, there are two uh, for dual. There's a plural and dual and singular. In Arabic, dual. So in the general world, in the general understanding, the mother is given an edge. But in the Quran, it's not. It's both. So generally, uh, in the Christian Bible or in the other world, in the Hindu religion, it is the mother, mother who is more valuable. But the Quran does not make a difference. Both of them. He said, do not say a word of contempt to both of them. And usually, mothers have got strong hold on the children, and their children retaliate to their parents, the father. Not the mother. Mother is holy and under the feet is Jannah or the garden under the feet of mother is nonsense. Allah's garden is not so cheap. You have to earn it. You have to really earn it. You're making something in the garden of Allah is in the mother. You know, you, I, we don't, you don't say a word of contempt to your mother and father, both. Balance. So if Allah says in this ayah we build wali daini asana, he used the word dual, and it says do, do be good to your parents, father and mother, both. And further it says, and when any of them, meaning father or mother, attain an old age in your presence, your lifetime, do not say to both of them a word of contempt. Oof, dishonor. Do not dishonor them. This is wisdom. Do not dishonor your parents is wisdom. And I have noticed in my lifetime, many, many, many people, they do not agree to these ayahs. They don't practice these ayahs. It's a big problem in the West. It is a big prom problem all around the world. The children do not honor their parents at all. Because they are intelligent, they are not wise. They don't have the wisdom. And believe me, Quran, I told you in the beginning, the Prophet got the book and the wisdom. 
if you do not practice the wisdom, if you are not a wise person, this, you will never understand the book of God. It's not used for you. It's not book is not for you. The book is for those who take guidance and practice, and they are wise people do this, do this, not intelligent. So now further he says, and from the mercy lower your wings, lower the wings in humility for both of them, again both of them. And say, oh my Lord, be merciful on both of them, again both of them, as they both cherished me when I was little. That you are asking, you must pray to Allah, have mercy on both of them. As they cherished me when I was little, when you were nothing, when mankind was nothing, he was a little boy, birth, you know whenever you are a child are born, what are you? How your parents day and night take cares of you and cherishes you? And now you become arrogant, lower yourself, lower your, what is lower of your wings? What are wings? You know you are flying high these days, man they say in the word the language, when you become a successful man, you get knowledge, you get, you will become a big man, and now you fly high. That flying high says lower your wings in front of your parents. That is lowering or lowering of the wings. To your parents, you are just a child, a kid. Always. He may appreciate you, but in your mind, in his mind, you are nothing but a kid. You be, can become anything. And be, believe me, there are people, their sons and children have, have tremendously advanced to their parents. They don't respect their parents. They feel shy about it. Believe me, I've come across these guys. They feel that my parents are, you know, driver, you know, like this, and you are, I am like this. What nonsense, you are nothing if you don't have, because you are a birth of the same parents, they are genes of the same parents. They might have not got the, the education or something because of parents have, must have gone through some difficult tasks and difficult life. So they may not have the ability to do what you have done it. Or if Allah is giving you that intelligence, that you will not respect your parents. So remember this wise people understand these ayahs. The wisdom, this is the wisdom if you have and respect your parents. And further it says lower your, uh, lower your wings, lower the wings. In front of, and then pray to Allah. Remember this is very nice. Oh my Lord, be merciful on both of them as they cherished me when I was little. Very, very important and very nice. How many of you pray about your parents? Nothing. 